G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome back to the Outback server, proudly brought to us by Bisect Hosting. And we're back at my base at the moment. And if you look around, I'm making progress on the walls. I've made a number of the towers. Uh, and the wall goes all the way around now. It does, it does indeed. Uh, it's not pretty up on the inside or outside, but at least it is a wall. Uh, and there's a lot of work to go. <laughs> but that's not why we're here today. Today we're to do a little bit of work around the base. And since I've been building stuff and all that sort of stuff, I ripped down the little furnace that I had uh, down on the pods all down there. And what I need now is I need a smelter system. So I thought I might build a little build uh, with a super smelter, an auto smelter, so that I can uh, cook my bits, uh, you know, whether it's cooking up um, stone bricks to make cracked stone bricks or making smooth stone or cooking food or whatever it might be. So let's get to it. <clears throat> and the easiest way to get around is to fly. I love it. <laughs> it's looking so much better, isn't it? It is looking so nice. So I thought I might actually build this smelter down here. I might as well. So first things first, I need to whack down some gear. I'll do that. I'll be back. There we go. Oh, I've got all my bits and bods. Now I need to work out how much space I need. I'm going to want 16 furnaces. Uh, so let's add, say, number four or five on each side. That's about 26. Let's say 30 blocks long. So how far is that going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Takes me almost to the end of that uh, street. Um, I'm going to have to lose my berry farm. Oh no! That's okay, I can build it up anywhere else. So let's get rid of those. Okie dokie. So let's give ourselves a couple of blocks back from each direction so we'll start here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. There you go. That is the length of this build. My goodness, it's huge. All right, and how deep are we going to make it? Um, the furnace system itself only needs to be, what, two, three deep or so. So let's go back maybe ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that enough? Make it a dozen, even dozen. There we go. I'm just going to fill this area in. I'll be back. Alrighty, so this is what we've got. And I'm going to whack my furnaces down one end. And what we need is an output chest. So let's put our output chest. Let's put it in the middle. This is where we're going to walk in. So we'll put our output chests. Just there. And we're going to need 16 hoppers. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this side we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's leave that end a little bit more open. Put these two down here. There we go, that's our 18 hoppers. And on top of each of those hoppers, we're going to put a furnace. There we go. And what will happen is anything that's cooked in the furnace will get sucked out by the hopper and put into that chest. Now we need to put a way of getting our fuel supplies into each of these furnaces. And for that, we're going to use another 
series of hoppers, one for each furnace. And we'll get ourselves on top because we're going to need a way of putting the item we want to smelt in each. And you guessed it, we're going to use hoppers, one into each furnace. And then we can get our rails, which I think is in this one. Yes, it is. We'll get some powered rails. We'll get some normal rails. Okie dokie. So, what we're going to do. So we're going to have a system where we can put our input and our output in to the system. Now, I want everything to be working from this center point. So just give myself something to stand on. Um, so we're gonna have we're gonna have rails running along all of these so that our hoppers with my our minecarts of hoppers can roll happily along and fill up these hoppers to fill the furnaces that there like that and like that that'll suck anything from that chest into that hopper and if we run our minecart behind and underneath that it will work like that that there that doesn't go there. We put a normal rail. Actually, no, I'm going to need power here. The daisy. There we go, like that. Now, I have a question. If I put a block of redstone there, it's going to power all the rails. But will it stop our hoppers here from sucking things up? Let's go and check if the hoppers directly in front have anything. I want to make sure the one behind it. Okay, so the ones above it seem to be working. Yes. They're working too. Excellent. So that's quite happily powering all my rails. Excellent. What I'll do now is I'll just put an extra block there, extra block there. Block of redstone, block of redstone, block, block, put block and a block, there we go, and that's our system built, Ooh, nearly night time, right now we need two minecarts with hoppers, and these should happily Run backwards and forwards. Ah, oh, there's no power there. Okay, and there's no power there. I'll put all the things away. I'll be back. Now I just want to add a piece of redstone there. Power that. Rail there. Sorry. <laughs> words. Don't have words. I'm going to need to power this one here, but I don't want. Oh, I know what I can do. I don't need power there. I can do it the same way I did with the last one. Ah! 
Okie dokie, so we will put that one there just to get it in place. And we'll put that one there. Is that not power these? No. Why not? If I put redstone there, it's going to lock that hopper. If I put redstone there, it will help lock that hopper. There we go. And that lock, that hopper there. Let's see. Going there. Going into there. But let's see. If it goes into this minecart. Yep, it's taken it. Lovely. That's excellent. Okay, so our cobble, our stone bricks will be in these ones. Let's just recover those. Right. We should now have a working system. I'll just go and grab some bits and bods. I'll be back so we can test it out. Okie dokie, let's put our last minecart with hopper on. Send it on its merry way. Oh, so it can't bounce off. Oh, I was hoping it could bounce off that hopper. Well, that's inconvenient, but not unfixable. All I have to do is take that and put it there. And we will put that there like that. I need one more hopper. And we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. So that should be fully powered. Yes, it is. That's oops, a daisy. And we'll put that one there. Send it on its way. It should flow backwards and forwards now. Yep. Okay, don't. So if I put my fuel in here, and what I want to smelt in here, we should see these start to fire up. Except for that one. Maybe I need to expand the system a little bit. And anything cooked will come out there. Yep, it's working. I just need to move this one down. Oh, that's why. Excellent. It's working. Yay! Now I just need to pretty it up. Now, in keeping with the style that we've had so far, I'm going to keep with that sort of look. I don't want it to be a box, though. That's the only thing. I'm wondering... Can I move this inner touch? Now that we know how long it's going to be. I think I'll move it in just a touch and leave our entry out a bit. Okay, so let's get to building the walls.
And there we go. That's that part done. Now for the hard bits. Working out the roof. Right, I'm going to keep on going. I'll be back. And we're back here at Galar Grove. We're looking out over the area where I've got a number of my tutorial builds. So uh, the patrons can come and check them out. But that's not what we're here for today. It's to visit the Hall of Heroes to welcome our latest guardian to the crowd. Yes, I'm very happy about that too. Um, and this person is someone, again, who's made a comment on one of my videos and really made me happy for doing all this. Without any further ado, we are welcoming TJ Bilo. Thank you, TJ. I hope uh, you appreciate being up on this hall with this uh, very exclusive little group. And uh, let's get back to the build. And I think I want to make another floor just here. So just close this area all work out how i'm going to get up here a little bit later but this will give me another little bit for storage but also break up the boxy look of the build which is just as important and we'll do a quick visit to the mud farm so we can get some mud so we can make our mud bricks and I need more oak. I've just had an idea. I'm thinking I might change around this because I'm not overly sort of happy with having that all the way up the top. So I'm going to see if I can switch it around a little bit. I'm going to have a play and I'll be back. Okay, so I think this is it. So I've been playing around with the setup. I've actually changed the um width down this end i've moved some of the vertices from here down to there so that i can get the input chest just that little bit lower and i've also added an extra couple of hoppers to have a feed in okay so let's see if this works okay that's good that's coming backwards and forwards and this one. Uh, I'll buy from up here. Is there enough space there for it to get down. Yep, excellent. So that's now working. Right, so what I need to do now is just put my fuel back in there so I can spread around now another thing I've done is put that there and that'll turn the system off all right what I need to do now is the roof and sticking with the theme, I'm going to use the mud bricks. Why is it doing that way around? There we go. Ah! Okay, so I've now enclosed the build. And we've got the roof on. What we need to do now is to the inside.
And there we go. One finished smelter building. Add a little bit extra to base. Oh, g'day, mate. So it has a few little windows, has some nice growing vinages. I've gotten rid of all pods oil over here and put in grass. And it's got a second floor. And it's gonna have a squeeze inside. They come in through the door. And that's what we've got. And it pumps out all the output into there. And if you want to turn it off, you just flick that lever. And they stop. Oh, I need to put another brick there. I'll do that later. And upstairs we have this little storage room so we can store excess fuel or anything like that up here. This adds a little extra something to the build. You know, with an auto smelter, I'm going to need a good source of fuel. And I think I might build myself a little lava farm just behind this structure. So I will not be short of lava buckets because I've certainly got enough iron. I'll just grab some bits and bods and I'll put one in here. Okie dokie. So that's our boundary of the build. Now I need to get something for the ground. I wonder what I'll build the ground out of. I want something that's going to be fireproof. I'm thinking I'll do it in deep slate. Don't really want a lot of wood in this build. Because I'm going to have lots of lava. Okay, so that's the base structure of the build. Now I'm going to put down my cauldrons. They're going to be separated by a block. And now we can put our dripstone on each of the blocks. That one's in the wrong spot. And then we need to enclose the top in. So we can put our lava down. Now I've got an option here. I can just fill the entire bed here with lava. Or I can just fill the spots where the dripstone is. And which is what I think I'll do. And now that I've got all my lava, I can come up here and put it into each of these spots. And now the dripstone will allow lava to drip down into the cauldron. And as you can see, we've now got drip. Oh my goodness, we've got one already. We just started and we've already got a bucket of lava. How handy is that? And there we go, all done. Let's see what we got in here. We've collected a fair bit of lava. Fair bit of lava indeed. So what have we got there? Five buckets there. And previously I got two more for in here. That makes me a grand total of seven. I see it's four. That's 11 buckets. So I've almost returned what I started with. And this is what I want the lava for. I'm going to put it in the smelter as a fuel source because one bucket of lava can burn lots and lots of stuff so let's just put it in the fuel receptacle there you go a bucket of lava in as fuel how nice well that was kind of fun to make and it is now a functional build that i can use for my smelting of all my bits and pods i'm really pleased with how it turned out if you liked the video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, go check out Yes, mate. Go check out all my other content. But that's all I got time for today. Until next time. Hooroo! I'm going to go do some smelting now.